Good evening, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading, the 24th of October 2016. Be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, Monday's session, we certainly had a uh, stellar close towards the US um, markets finish. We have the Nasdaq closing at 48.50, the S&P above 21.40 again. Uh, the FTSE is surging to 70.40, uh, plus 70.40. I think the markets are due to open very shortly. You have the uh, Euro stocks surging up to 30.90, the, uh, the uh, CAC up to uh, 45.50. And if I can recollect, the uh, the German DAX surging above 10.700. So certainly a bullish close there, okay, in the US markets, which again led to uh, European futures surging higher. Now, European markets certainly have been helped by the weaker euro. We have the euro still languishing at the 108.80. It's actually broken below 1.09. Even though, from my understanding and my interpretation, really the uh, the only uh, bearish uh, news for the euro was the fact that they didn't talk up tapering. Okay. Now, there was no additional QE, uh, no adi comments regarding additional QE, no commitment to additional QE. So the uh, the door certainly remains open to potential tapering in uh, in uh, in December as well, and also additional QE as well. So certainly a neutral strength, if anything, from my understanding. Um, certainly uh, the only ex thing that you could possibly expect is a, a knee jerk reaction, which again did t take the euro above one point one zero, and then obviously we we dropped below one point one zero nine. So my buy still remains bullish. I'm actually swing long on the euro. On the fundamental analysis service and i'm still looking for a potential move higher especially with us dollar obviously at the lofty heights now if i bring up the dollar index for you folks i mean you bring up a chart of usd jpy uh, usd jpy certainly holding resistance here at the 104.5 therefore indicating dollar obviously is reaching a potential top and therefore looking for the euro usd to reverse now allow me to bring up the us dollar index for you as well bear with me I can find the dollar index now. Here we go. Okay, so dollar index certainly is um, at lofty heights, as you can see here, uh, reaching one almost 131 now. The next potential resistance is at 132 on the dollar index futures, which I have here, and certainly is uh, reaching an impressive, uh, certainly an impressive rally thus far, and again, ex and expectations of a potential rate hike in December. Now the question is, a lot of uh, that certainly has been has been baked in, from my understanding. And certainly is actually uh, baked into the actual market itself. So certainly get, take that into consideration too. Okay. Now U.S. markets uh, on Friday, um, yes, we had certainly a strong close. Uh, we did actually have some negative data from the eurozone consumer confidence data. Certainly came in a uh, weaker as well. Uh, the uh, U.K. USD Baker Hughes rig count certainly came in slightly stronger as well. So therefore, net net negative for oil. So certainly keep an eye on that. And also, obviously, the dollar stronger as well. It's actually bearish for oil. So, again, certainly something to focus on. In terms of uh, economic data to look forward to for Monday's trading session, we have uh, uh, French, German, and UPMI data. So certainly keep an eye on that. And again, that will dictate sentiment and uh, potential movement in the euro and the equity market. Okay, we have the UK CBI Industrial Trend Survey. And then we have multiple Fed speakers. So again, keep an eye on the dollar. So we have Fed Williams, uh, Fed Williams, Dudley, you have Bullard, you have Evans, you have Powell. So again, that those uh, comments uh, from uh, the uh, uh, individual uh, Fed members, again, will dictate the price of the dollar, which we've already seen is at lofty heights. And again, will obviously uh, dictate the movement in currencies and commodities and equities too. So it certainly will be a... Uh, a volatile day come Monday, okay? Now let's look at the actual technicals now. Bear in mind that um, obviously the bearish factor on Friday was GE. GE certainly was dragging on the market, although Microsoft certainly did help the tech sector and help the US markets in, in all. Now let's bring up the German DAX and let's see exactly where we stand here. Uh, let's go to the daily chart, the German DAX. Again, DAX dictates the movements in Europe and therefore will uh, will dictate the session uh, or dictate the FTSE 100 too as well. Now, from my perspective, daily chart, the German DAX certainly is into uh, resistance and certainly looking for resistance. Now, one of the factors here is the Euro USD. Again, I've told you that the US dollar certainly is looking very top heavy and certainly has factored in the potential rate hike. Let's just bring up the Euro USD. 
Now the Euro USD on a daily chart certainly as you can see here certainly has been butchered and now it certainly seems that a lot of individuals are potentially buying on the factor on the basis of potential tapering talk and that certainly hasn't transpired and therefore Euro USD certainly has been punished. Okay, now next potential support on the Euro USD is seen at 1.0830. So as I again keep an eye at 1.0830 on the Euro USD. Now the weekly chart certainly has been um, a technical, a lot of technical damage here, but you do have support again back at that 1.8840, zone. So certainly keep an eye on 1.0830, 1.0840. You also have support around this 1.09 zone. So again, keep an eye on that in terms of the next potential uh, movement or reversal. 10840, absolutely key and a critical level. Currently sitting around the 10880 zone, so again, bear that in mind. Daily chart from my perspective, fundamentally speaking, the Euro needs to rally, okay? Euro is is, is expected to rally from my, from my fundamental understanding. Technically, you are looking at a potential um, 10830 zone, 10830 again, next potential horizontal support. We failed to hold this key level, which was around the 10920. Certainly failed to hold that. Okay. So again, we're certainly into that stop loss hunting zone. So certainly a potential to 10840. If it gets to 10840, that certainly is a zone that I'll be more than happy to potentially enter and go along. Okay. Just giving you a heads up there. Okay. So your USD approaching support, approaching a potential area where you can bounce higher. We all know there's an inverse relationship with the Euro, Euro, uh, European equities and the Euro USD. So again, bear that in mind. So if the Euro starts to move higher, you are looking at European equities moving lower. Now again, going to the German DAX daily chart. Daily chart certainly indicates to me it's into resistance. So it needs to move lower. You have a pivot top around the 1040, 1045. Your horizontal resistance at 1080. And then you have another resistance at 10800. So again, look for resistance there. German DAX on the 60 minute chart. Really, it's in no man's land. Okay. We certainly have put in a potential topping tail. We are consolidating here. Now, my concern is the two potential unfilled gaps below. Those two gaps below certainly is not healthy. Okay. So any bullish pattern with unfilled gaps below certainly is an unhealthy sign. Again, look for potential vulnerability for that gap to close. For now, we are holding potential support around this 10670 zone. Okay, so again, look for the uh, potential market to uh, to move lower. Okay, and again, you have support around this 10600 and then ultimate gap fill support at 10500. So again, just certainly keep those numbers or keep those levels in, in mind when uh, trading this week on the German DAX. So from my understanding, German DAX certainly looks top heavy and therefore looking for weakness in European equities. Okay, now let's move on to the um, the French CAC. Let's see exactly where the French CAC is sitting. Daily chart, let's have a look at a technical perspective. Daily chart, you're into that gap fill resistance back into that horizontal resistance zone. So you have key resistance around the 4560. Okay, so, so I'm certainly looking for resistance in the daily chart. The 60 minute chart, the French CAC, from my perspective, certainly looking top heavy again, looking for an inverted or a HNS formation, should I say, not inverted. So looking for HNS formation. Okay, so again, looking for a, a potential top here on the French CAC, looking for a HNS formation. Okay, so left shoulder here, head, and then the right shoulder looking for weakness and looking to move lower with two unfilled gaps below. So the French CAC certainly is the weakest, weakest link from my perspective. 10 minute chart, the French CAC certainly looking top heavy here. Uh, resistance held at 4550, looking for a lower high. Lower high, then looking for a lower low. And then obviously the next phase. Next potential support is seen at uh, 4500, and then you are looking for gap fill, which is around the 4450 zone. So uh, the French CAC certainly is a weakest link from my perspective. Now we can double check that by the CAC mid uh, 60. Uh, this again is showing you a lower high. Uh, the daily chart in and of itself is telling you a potential HNS formation is looming, as you can see here. Certainly, HNS okay. So, again, CAC rate 60 certainly indicating weakness. Let's move on to the FTSE 100 now. FTSE 100, let's start with the daily chart. Daily chart again, from my perspective, indicating weakness. You have a potential double top now at 7120. You've certainly put in topping tails, you put in a doji topping tail on Friday as well, looking for a lower high with weaker wages, higher inflation. Okay, and you are looking at a, um, a an erosion of disposable income. Okay, with especially with the uh, unemployment uh, potential uh, benefits, certainly unemployment claims 
uh, and the jobless claims certainly rising this week as well. So certainly looking for weakness now. We do have multiple earnings this week on the FTSE 100. Uh, we certainly have National Express on, on, on Monday and then Tuesday you have Whitbread and on Wednesday you have Lloyds and Airbus. So again, and on Thursday you have Barclays and Debenhams and BT. So again, it will be uh, certainly it will be important in terms of earnings this week on the uh, UK FTSE 100. Okay, folks certainly looking for weakness so daily chart itself again like i said you're into that fib 61 percent so you're looking at resistance around the 7050 7080 zone 70 uh, 50 60 zone okay the 60 minute chart on the FTSE 100 again you seem to have broken out this potential small bullish channel with resistance holding at 7060 and therefore looking for weakness on the FTSE on the 60 minute chart so 7060 and 7070 solid solid resistance on the FTSE 10 minute chart on the FTSE 100 you're looking for you were looking for a potential bounce here certainly you will potentially get one any gap fill or uh, movement higher you are looking for the gap to both below to close okay any pop here at 7045 up to uh, 7060 uh, zones of resistance and those two levels i'll certainly be more than happy to potentially short the market as well so certainly looking for weakness here folks okay certainly looking for weakness on the FTSE 100 looking for a potential move lower bringing up the euro stocks now quickly go through the euro stocks with you folks as well okay so daily chart the euro stocks and at the moment we are in no man's land okay there is a potential gap fill resistance level here where we are at present okay so certainly looking at that zone there if we do potentially push higher past 3090 next level resistance at 3100 okay horizontal resistance and therefore looking for weakness now again here with the french cac into resistance and the german dax into resistance you are looking at the euro stocks being into resistance as well okay now again if we continue to push higher here the next level of resistance is at 3095 okay but my perspective and my understanding is that we certainly have topped out at this 3085 zone and now looking to uh, potentially move lower folks, okay so certainly keep an eye on the zone below okay so that certainly is a wrap for european equity so again my understanding is euro usd certainly looking to potentially pop here again causing weakness in european equities and looking for a potential move lower okay on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus goodbye now.